Here to perform I Don't Try is Guy Marshall. Take it away, you guys. Laying down with a friend of mine When I heard that knock on the door I said, come on in, won't you see my friend Yeah, we've been right there before What can I say that I hadn't said So many times before The truth I know I've tried. Yes, he's tried so many times before. And I'm so tired. He's so tired of that love that walks away. Don't you know? Yeah, honey, I know. True love don't always stay. Take it away, old Frank. What you seen when you walked in on me? I promise it was not a sin. I was all broken up, and I called that old gal to help me with an honest need. Now I know this is hard for y'all to understand, especially since I was a religious man. The truth I know ruined you. The truth is, love's no more. And I don't try, he don't try, oh, to love you anymore. Cause I've tried, yes, he's tried so many times before. And I'm so tired, he's so tired of that love that walks away. Don't you know? It's me, I know this. True love don't always stay Don't you know? Yes, I know True love don't always stay Awesome, guys! That was so great. Thank you guys so much for coming on again. So, um, why don't you all just introduce yourselves and kind of how you started playing music. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm Adam McNulty. Uh, who are you? I'm his <laughs> wife, Serena McNulty. <laughs> How about you? I'm Frank Bronson. He's also, he's uh, in our family as well. But really? He's our son, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, yeah, yeah. The resemblance is it's uncanny. Pretty, <laughs> yeah, it's weird how big he is. There. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of happened. Yeah. Um, so how did this band form? Um, it's, it's gone through a couple different uh, phases, but the current band, and, and usually we have a, a, a drummer and bass okay. player and, a, and an electric guitar player, so this is... This is half of the band, technically. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, yeah, it's formed over the last couple of years, and it's just um, just all good friends. And I tried to find uh, the guys that I thought were the best musicians in Knoxville to, to get around us, me and Serena, and sing songs. So That's awesome. You definitely did it very well because y'all sound absolutely incredible. Thank you. Um, so y'all are working on your album, EP? Uh, it's a, it's a full-length album. Full-length album. Our second album. We did an EP uh, about four years ago, and then we did an album a year and a half ago. Okay. And so this will be the follow-up to that. Yeah. Awesome. And um, what can fans expect on that album? What will be different, or what will be the same? Uh, a lot of it's going to be different. Uh, we self-produced the last album, um, and this one will actually, we're, we've got a, a producer on it, uh, which is going to be completely different, which, you know, he'll come in and and we'll we'll you know we'll craft the songs mm -hmm. even more so than they already are. So uh, so that's going to be a lot different actually. So I, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be a completely different product. The first one I love, mm -hmm. but uh, but you, you always kind of want the next one to be 
you know, a progression or some something different than Just the last one. a little bit one. Be so, better. Yeah, better and yeah. different. So I think this one's going to be plenty of both of those things. Awesome. So. so would you classify your genre as like folk or bluegrass or? Yeah, I think it's all, I think it's all kind of a mixture of the sorts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've heard folks say it sounds bluegrass because I mean, I grew really? up listening to Alison Krauss and just a lot of, which is more new grass, but I mean, mm -hmm. but like listening to bluegrass and then I listened to, you know, Bob Dylan all through my teens and then yeah. I was, you know, Neil Young and all this stuff. So you can hear all kinds of stuff in there. That's awesome. A, so. Um, so in a kind of mainly pop, um, controlled music scene are there any troubles that come with being a folk bluegrass mixture um, just, genre yeah mainly just like making money mm -hmm. just, <laughs> <laughs> the main but, concern yeah, yeah yeah no i mean uh, i no i you, the people you play to are the i mean it's it's all the people that you want to play to so yeah. I, I enjoy it i mean i mean i love i love my beyonce too and stuff so i mean i have nothing against the pop music i just don't have i don't have the the you know the behind and the vocals that she does so so, um, which I mean, she's more than that, of course, but uh, that sounded awful. But, uh, no, 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 but either way, uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, um, I know you all have some very exciting things coming up. Why don't you all tell me um, what shows are coming up and what festivals and... You go for it, girl. <laughs> it's all you. I'm, I'm done Well, talking. so right now, just Sorry, for a couple Beyonce's more ass. days, we have our crowdfunding campaign going on mm -hmm. um, on Indiegogo, and you can find that information on um, on our Facebook, Guy Marshall, or our website, guymarshallband.com. Awesome. And um, we're trying to raise money for that second album. Mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime, before we begin recording in July, we are trying to get out of town as much as we can. So that's been really, really fun. It's pretty exciting to get to go and meet For all sure. kinds of new people and stuff. Um, but the next thing that we have coming up, kind of close, is um, WDDX's Camper Fest on May 5th. So oh. that's in Kodak. Which is close to Knoxville, yeah. correct? Yes. So be sure to go get your tickets, guys. Um, and we will put the link below for the um, Indiegogo campaign. And so if you liked what you heard today, imagine what will be on the album that's coming mm -hmm. up. Um, and y'all will be going on tour soon, getting getting out of town. Um, so where can fans find your music? Well, it's on Spotify, um, iTunes, and um, through our website to guymarshallband.com. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Y'all were absolutely incredible. Be sure to go check them out. And that's it for this season of Vault Talk. So be sure to tune in next season for even more guests, more topics, and of course, more fun. See you later, guys.